I'm Lisa Carver. Welcome to Money Wisdom, sponsored by Johnson Brunetti. We're educating you about smart ways to manage your money. And joining us is Eric Hogarth, certified financial planner and Johnson Brunetti partner. Eric, welcome back. Thank you. Great tips we're getting today. Um, in, important documents we need in retirement. Let's talk about that. These are key. Number one, a will. Tell me about that. Well, 50% of retirees don't have a will. Wow. These are not fun conversations, but they're important conversations. And, and you hear the jokes, well, I didn't save this money to make our kids rich. I'm going to spend it all. I hope you do. But as much as we hope, best case scenario, you have to plan, prepare worst case scenario. Because if you, if you die without a will, you've given up the right to determine where that money's going to go. And, and why would you? Right, So you right. need a will. Okay, number two, power of attorney. Power of attorney is if you don't die, but you find yourself incapacitated. I, I met with uh, a gentleman yesterday okay. whose sister was there and, and, and she's his power of attorney because he has dementia uh -huh. and the power of attorney can now help him make decisions and act on his behalf if he's not able to himself. Very important. Okay, number three, health care directive. Specific to your health. Mm -hmm. Again, you're allowing someone to make those decisions for you, and you don't know when you are going to need someone to do that for you. So that's why you set it up before. Like, I've set that stuff up. Really? Because you don't know when yeah. you will need it. Great idea. Okay. And uh, finally, information document. Uh, we have some, inf we should have an information document with three key things on it. Let's talk about that. So Final wishes. So you, you want a plan and you want to be able to decide those things and you don't, this is such an easy thing to procrastinate, okay. but you want that written up because you don't want people, I've had those conversations, yeah. people say, I don't even know what they had. And sometimes it's a spouse and now you're just waiting for the mail to come in. Oh my goodness, here's an account I didn't know I had. Oh. Or this, and that's sad. At a tough time. So, of course, at mm -hmm. a tough time. So, so to be making those decisions so that everything you want to have happen will happen. Okay, bank account information, that's key. Yeah. I mean, I, I've had a scenario where a husband and wife were on a bank account. The gentleman decided after pretty deep, sadly, into dementia, mm -hmm. he took her off that account. Oh. He died. She had a horrible time accessing this money. They'd been married over 50 years, wow. gone to the same bank. She can't get the money. So make sure that all those accounts are in order. And finally, passwords. We have a lot of passwords. We do. We have a lot of passwords. Uh -oh. I keep my own passwords on a document in my computer. The other day I got locked out of the computer and now what's going on? Oh. So uh, print that stuff up, have it in a binder in a safe place yes. so that, you know, all this stuff that, well, I know just how to get to it. Well, if anything happens to you, no one else does. Yes. So have it set up so that you can make it easy in a difficult time for someone. And tell me about your brochure you have. So we have an estate planning checklist. So again, people are this is an easy one to procrastinate and hesitant to have these conversations mm -hmm. and do I need a trust and is it going to cost me all this money? Not necessarily, but it can't hurt to have the conversation. Information and knowledge is not going to hurt you. So you have a better understanding of what should I be thinking about doing. Excellent. Eric Hogarth, Johnson yeah. Brunetti, thank you very much. To learn more, go to moneywisdomtv.com.